Got a special surprise for you guys. Let's check it out. Okay, so out here in this outside pocket, got some fire starters from Bigfoot Bushcraft. Now, we didn't know this when they sent this to us, but we also got an awesome ferro rod. Now, we haven't actually struck this thing yet, so you're gonna find out just as we are if this thing is good or if it is not. Along with this, uh, what seems to be a great little kit, they also sent a tin with instructions on the inside of what to do and how to light these. All right, so now in addition to the dry fire starters, what I've done, uh, of course, kayaking. We all love it. We do a lot of it. Now, some of our stuff, uh, we try to waterproof as much of our gear as we can. Uh, but we quickly find out that sometimes our waterproofing jobs are not as good as they could have been. So uh, we've had fire kits get wet before, and I wanted to simulate that. Not just running these under the water for a few seconds, you know, in the sink. I actually let these soak. They've been soaking for probably 10 or 20 minutes now. So we're going to find out just how good these things are. And actually, if they are true to what they say, being waterproof. So we're going to find that out. But first, let's just start off with one of these dry ones. So let's pack off to the side there. So, the instructions are fairly simple on this. You're going to break it in half, and then, similar to a foil nugget, in the fact that you're just kind of trying to get this thing fluffed up. It's got a waxy feel to it. I believe this is a wax-infused fire starter and uh, that would make sense seeing as they do claim that this is waterproof Getting it fluffed up here there we go that's what I'm trying to get all right now that we've gotten that fluffed up a little bit let's try it out now this is on damp uh, sand but again this should work just fine let's get this Brand new ferro rod out of the bag. Very nice ferro rod. Okay. Seems to strike fairly well. Let's try it out. Check that out. There we go. And just like that, we've got flame. So, that to me is pretty standard. I would expect it to do that. I would expect it to light up and to burn like that, dry. The real test, and what's really going to sell me on these things, is if they're able to light while being completely soaking wet. Uh, now you see you get a great burn time out of these things plenty of working time uh, and that's very nice as well because when building a fire uh, especially in wet conditions it can take a while uh, to dry these smaller sticks out that's right help dad break these sticks Oh, you can break that stick. Remember with fire building, start with the smallest ones you can find. And work your way up. No such thing as too many small ones. It's been close to three minutes now since we initially, or since I initially lit this thing. Soaking wet. Let's see if we can start.
Now, I've got high hopes for these things because I really do hope that this uh, lights up like it's supposed to. I feel like uh, what I'm predicting is that the waxy coating on the outside edge on the or the exterior of this fire starter is actually going to kind of protect it. And uh, help it, you know, stay waterproof. You see on the inside all those nice fibers. So I took the lanyard off of the uh, ferro rod here, just simply because it was kind of restricting how well I was able to strike the ferro rod. Just going to kind of use the striker to fluff this up a little bit. Still got a little flame going here on this one. So, it's been about a five minute burn time. That's pretty good. Here we go. So, I've gotten that fluffed up a lot better. Let's see if we can get this started now. Look at that. There we go. And that was submerged in that bag of water. Bag of lake water. For nearly 20 minutes, I would say. Yeah, about, about 20 minutes. What I can see happening with these, especially with the size that these are, these are about, uh, they're about two inches long. And what, a half inch wide. These are gonna work great going inside of a kit like this. Yes. This is be our, uh, this is my Becker BK11 knife. Love this little blade. And these look like they'll fit perfectly inside of my little kit here. And inside of my little kit, I have a ferro rod, a little fishing kit in here, things like that. Fishing hooks, things like that. These look like they'll fit perfectly in there. And especially knowing that uh, when you can pull these things apart after they've been wet for a while, and that's golden. That's good stuff there. And the big reason why we wanted to show this, these fire starters submerged in the water, kind of recap what Gabriel said. A lot of times, you know, things that we have waterproof aren't necessarily waterproof. We think we've got it all sealed up and lo and behold, we're gonna pull it out and suck him wet. Now the deal with this is, you know, we'll get caught in the rain sometimes and I'm not always wanting to put my raincoat on or my poncho on, and I'll just tuck this in my shirt. Well, things still get wet that way. So, I think these are pretty neat fire starters. And this is actually somewhat damp uh, material we have here. But you can see, these things work great. And there's our little survival fire. We'll have a link in the description box below where to buy these, uh, all the pertinent information. And again, this Bigfoot bushcraft. It said wax infused, so obviously I wanted to smell it. <laughs> I think it kind of smells like kind of a florally candy almost. Okay. So it's not a bad smell. Yeah, it's rather pleasant. Now that's something you put in your kit? Yeah. Okay. It's rather nice and it's very useful, so yeah. <laughs> I really like it. Now this tin is obviously used for a storage tin. But the great thing about it 
you could always poke a hole in the top and char material in it. Charred punk wood, char cloth, charred cedar bark, anything you want. Very handy little fire starters. So folks, overall the fire starters worked great. Of course they held up to their to what they said. They are 100% waterproof. Again, these things soaked for nearly 20 minutes in water. The ferro rod, of course, it was brand new, coat of paint on there, so it's gonna be a little harder to strike. And I just had to undo this lanyard. My big man hands trying to strike this thing, it just, uh, it doesn't work out. So I had to undo that. But uh, after I undid it, it worked great, of course. I would highly recommend, and they definitely live up to what they say, this is definitely going in my kit. Alrighty folks, I'd like to thank you for watching today. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. As always, may the wings of liberty never lose a feather, and God bless.